Hi everyone. I wanted to play around with animating a photo in Photoshop, but I didn't want to pay for an expensive software. I didn't want to spend the money for something I wanted to try and play around with a little bit. Um, and I wanted to come up with something like this. And of course this is my photo and it is animated. So I'm going to close this out and show you what I have found. Browsing the do-it-yourself photography site, I saw save yourself $300 and animate Photoshop, pho, I'm sorry, photographs in Photoshop. Wow, that sounded exactly like I wanted to do. So I'm going to show you how this actually works and a little tutorial on how to make a plotter graph style action without having to spend $300. A um, little bit more work, but actually very simple once you get down to it. So let's minimize this and open up Photoshop. And the very first thing I'm going to do is actually open the photo. So I'm going to say file, open. And I'm going to open the Porsche picture up. Okay, so we have our picture loaded up. The next thing I want to do is actually turn my action panel on. So you see that on right there. And I want to change things over to button mode. And I'm going to click on this top right menu in the action panel. And then tell it I want the button mode. Now you see my actions have changed into actual buttons. And we're going to press on step one. And you'll see in the background some actions happen. And I have an image that's prepared now. Um, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so I can do some uh, other parts later. So let's get to smaller. And now it's time to press on step two, comma three, add region. So I'm clicking on that and you see that my button turned red. What it's doing is waiting for me to actually apply something to it. So I need to actually select my region. So I'm going to pick my one of my selection tools and say apply to this section right here. And then I'm going to press on quick mask. And I'm going to brush in where I actually want the image to be changing or where it's going to select actually. So let's let this select this part. A little bit down here. And I think that is going to be pretty good for right now. And I'm going to tell my close my quick mask button. And now I have a selection set up. Now I'm going to press on the add region again. And you can see it applied something and my selection is gone. But now I'm doing things and it's not um, showing anything right here. I need to actually continue my actions. So what I need to do is edit and transform. And I'm going to do a free transformation on this and I'm going to move it to the right and move it down a little bit so that my clouds actually will change and move with it. So I'm going to press on check. That's the transformation I want to do. And then click on add region again. So now I'm done with step two and step three. So the next thing we're doing is step four. And the rest of these are pretty painless. So I'm going to step on, press on animate, hit step on, and it animated this. Now I'm going to clean my animation, and then I'm going to tell it to save. So it's pretty quick to go through the last few button options. The longest is actually applying or adding your region. So let's see, I'm working on a little bit older computer, so this will take a little while. All right, have my animation up. I'm going to tell it down at the very bottom of it to how many times we want to do this animation, looping options. And I'm going to tell it to do it forever. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then we'll take a look at it to see how it looks. All right, so let's minimize Photoshop real quick. And take a look. I'm going to open up Chrome again and just drop it in there and you can do this really fast off your desktop and say, okay, let's see what you look like. And now we have an animated GIF. And that's all there is to it. I saved it. I have an animated GIF now. And I saved myself $300 to make this little animated GIF. Now, if I wanted to be more professional about it, I can actually add re different regions and different transformations to things. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, um, I think this animated GIF looks pretty cool. And is uh, and is all set, and it saved me three hundred dollars. So I'm very happy with that. Thanks for watching.